ஹாய் காய்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு நம்ம கேபிஎஸ்சி அகாடமி கர்நாடகா எக்கனாமிக் சர்வே வீடியோ சீரீஸ் கண்டினியூவிங் ஆர் டிஸ்கஷன் ஆன் நேச்சுரல் ரிசோர்சஸ் அண்ட் என்வாரன்மெண்ட் டுடே லெட் அஸ் டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் வாட்டர் ரிசோர்சஸ் ஆஃப் கர்நாடகா irrigation is an important source of rising productivity in agricultural sector expansion of both ground water and surface water resources have helped to increase the cultivated area under irrigation in the state over time from this table you can see that the net irrigated area in the state has increased considerably from 1980 81 onwards This table presents source wise irrigation for the year 2016-17 among the irrigation sources tube wells and bore wells accounted for the highest proportion of 44.17% of the net irrigated area the share of tanks which were historically a major source of irrigation has accounted only to 3.74% of the net irrigated area So now let us have a look at irrigation potentials created through major and minor irrigation projects. The surface water or the canal irrigation projects are classified into major, medium and minor irrigation projects based on the cultivable command area generated by them. This table highlights the irrigation potential created since 2014-15 in Karnataka. Now let us discuss about various irrigation projects of Karnataka. First of all let us have a look at Krishna Bhagya Jala Nigam projects. So Krishna Bhagya Jala Nigam has been set up to complete the irrigation projects on Krishna River. The Upper Krishna project stage 1 and stage 2 has been completed in 2012-13 and completion report has been submitted to Central Water Commission. At present the nigam is working on Upper Krishna project stage 3 as you all know the river waters of Krishna is been disputed between the states of Maharashtra Karnataka Andhra Pradesh and Telangana to resolve the dispute Krishna water disputes tribunal 2 was set up the Krishna water disputes tribunal has passed an award in December 2010 allocating 177 TMC of Krishna river water to Karnataka state out of this 130 TMC is the share of upper krishna project stage 3 this utilization involve raising the storage at alamatti from 519.60 meters to 524.25 meters and providing an irrigation for 5.94 lakh hectares of command area which include various districts of northern karnataka region in addition krishna bhagya jala nigam limited has taken up tank filling projects and canal top solar power projects to help the farmers of northern karnataka Now let us study about Karnataka Neeravari Nigam Limited projects. So the Karnataka Neeravari Nigam Limited is established by government of Karnataka in 1998 under Companies Act 1956 as a special purpose vehicle to accelerate the implementation of Krishna basin projects except upper Krishna projects. Now let us study about Vishweshwaraya Jala Nigam Limited. So the government of Karnataka established Vishweshwaraya Jala Nigam Limited as a wholly owned government of Karnataka undertaking under Water Resource Department which was registered under Companies Act 2013. It was launched on 2016 October 28th. The government of Karnataka has transferred the projects namely Upper Bhadra project Yatinahole project Gayatri and Vani Vila Sagar projects and its related offices along with officers and staff to Vishweshwaraya Jala Nigam Limited The next topic of discussion is Kaveri Neeravari Nigama projects The Kaveri Neeravari Nigama Limited was established by government of Karnataka in 2003 under companies act 1956 as a special purpose vehicle to accelerate the implementation of kaveri basin projects in karnataka 
द कावेरी बेसिन कॉन्स्टिट्यूट सेवेंटीन पॉइंट नाइन नाइन पर्सेंट ऑफ टोटल बेसिन एरिया कवरिंग मेजर रिवर्स इन कर्नाटका अंडर दिस प्राजेक्ट द कावेरी नीरावरी निगम इज टेकिंग अप फाइव मेजर इरीगेशन स्कीम्स सेवेंटीन मीडियम इरीगेशन स्कीम्स एंड सेवन अलीड इरीगेशन स्कीम्स Apart from the above initiatives it is proposed to take up modernization of anikat canals under the jurisdiction of kaveri niravari nigama projects accordingly 31 anikat canals branch canal modernization are taken up with a total estimated cost of rupees 1683 crores now let us study about the national hydrology project National Hydrology Project is taken up by Ministry of Water Resources with the World Bank assistance and it is a 100% central funded project for the states of India there is a Karnataka state component with the following objectives the next topic is dam rehabilitation and improvement program 22 dams of Karnataka state are considered by Central Water Commission for institutional strengthening under this program which is being implemented with the help of world bank the next scheme we must study about is accelerated irrigation benefit program the government of india prioritized 99 projects under accelerated irrigation benefit program of pradhan mantri krishi sinchai scheme in which five projects of karnataka are included out of these five projects Sri Rameshwar project is included under priority 1 and the remaining four projects include Upper Tunga project Bhima project Karanja project and NLBC ERM projects Now let us study about minor irrigation projects projects having achkat area of up to 2000 hectares are classified as minor irrigation projects and they include tanks pickups bhandaras barrages and lift irrigation schemes these minor irrigation projects are widely spread over the karnataka state as on 1st april 2018 there are 9596 minor irrigation projects in existence under the department of minor irrigation of karnataka government and they are being continuously developed Now let us study about the Karnataka state schemes to harness the water resources of Karnataka. Government of Karnataka is continuously aiming at construction of new tanks, modernization of existing tanks and construction of barrages, anikats and provisions of lift irrigation schemes etc to harness the water resources of Karnataka. and through special component plants and tribal supplies karnataka government is providing safe drinking water and irrigation waters to scheduled caste and scheduled tribe inhabitations respectively under state scheme we must study about paschima vahini program so under this program vented dams are constructed to collect and store the waters of west flowing rivers of the coastal districts of karnataka this scheme aims to provide water supply to coastal districts of karnataka state also government of karnataka is implementing various schemes to start flood control works in karnataka accordingly the minor irrigation department is implementing river bank protection works to prevent damages due to floods next karnataka government started karnataka tank conservation and development authority in 2017 this authority performs various functions government of karnataka through this authority is implementing kere sanjeevini program to develop lakes of karnataka also the government of karnataka established ground water directorate by bifurcating the ground water wing from the department of mines and geology in order to strengthen and develop the ground water wing in state at present ground water directorate is working under minor irrigation department So guys those were few details on water resources of Karnataka in the next video let us discuss about mining sector in Karnataka So guys we are concluding with our discussion before concluding here is a reminder 
in the description box you shall find the links to download the ebooks of namak apsc academy so guys thank you for watching if you like the video please like and subscribe namak apsc youtube channel for more queries contact us thank you again